Hello everybody, welcome to the Hard Reset YouTube channel. Today in front of me I have the Huawei Mate 50 Pro and in this video we would like to share the top 5 Pro tips, features and like generally tricks for this device. So the first feature that uh, we were intending to highlight today is the fingerprint unlock and uh, the fingerprint screen unlock and how you can set it up. So in order to do that, launch settings, then enter the biometrics and password category, fingerprint ID. Prior to enrolling any biometrical uh, screen lock method, it is also required that you set up some backup uh, method as well. Uh, the list of methods you can choose from is uh, pin code, password or pattern. I'm more of the pattern guy myself, so I'll simply draw the pattern that I would like to use, then confirm it. After that, choose for what in particular you would like to use the fingerprint. So unlock device, access safe, access app lock, autofill username and password. As for right now, I'll simply set it for the uh, unlock device function then we can add the fingerprint or start adding the fingerprint the scanner is located at the like lower part of your display so simply lay and lift the finger onto it and uh, well make sure to slightly rotate the finger so the entire surface of it will be correctly and uh, well seamlessly scanned Sometimes it is hard to enroll some of the fingerprint edges, but just follow this little instruction. As you can see, it highlights the fingerprint area that, uh, well, needs to be captured at any given moment. So just follow this little visual hint and you will enroll your fingerprint in no time. So let me just once again, uh, and roll the edges to make sure that everything is correctly scanned. So enrollment has been successful. I'll go ahead and test it out how well it works. As you can see, the screen gets unlocked quickly and pretty much without any difficulties whatsoever. I'll try to do it with another finger. It does not let me through, which is a good sign. Already, the second feature or option is located at the display and brightness category. Uh, actually, a little spoiler, the second two features are located at the uh, dimension category. So let me quickly enter it. So the first one is called the screen refresh rate. You can switch it uh, to be 60 or one, I mean, you can set it to be 60 or 120 hertz. So long story short, the higher you go, the smoother and silkier uh, visual experience you get. Everything smooth, everything is, well, no, very visually appealing. But at the same time, the uh, higher value tends to drain more power. So if you would like to conserve, conserve your battery, just opt for the 60 hertz. If your uh, power left is sufficient, uh, just go for the 120. You can also set it to be dynamic, which will uh, switch between those two values automatically. Uh, in accordance with its own algorithms and system state and battery state and what's not. I actually prefer for it to be at the dynamic value since it really finds this little, uh, well, uh, the middle ground between the uh, power consumption and the visual smoothness. The next option, uh, as I've promised, will be also at the display and brightness category. That is the screen resolution. Here you can switch between three values, as you can see, low, standard, or high. The story goes uh, uh, as it was with the display refresh rate. So the higher uh, value you go for, the better visuals you'll get, but at the same time, the power will be drained uh, significantly faster. So in here, we also have this little uh, smart switch uh, option or value, which you can go for and let the system uh, automatically decide which uh, screen resolution value is the most suiting for um, any given uh, well moment in time. So moving on to the uh, fourth tip or feature that we wanted to highlight today. Uh, it is located at the, let me double check real quick. Yep, it is located at the storage uh, category and it basically uh, allows you to clean up all the trash, junk and generally unnecessary files from your system. So if you feel like your phone uh, has been slower lately or you really want to increase the 
uh, well, how do you put it correctly? You do you want to increase the uh, performance of your system? Um, so just do not hesitate to open the storage category settings and perform a quick cleanup. Cleanup. So it provides you with uh, quite a few options that you can uh, increase the uh, performance with. So for example, uh, compress some files, compress unused apps or rarely used apps, uh, clean up the junk files, cached uh, media, app data, unused apps, re residual files, duplicate files. So I'll, for example, clean the duplicate files as well as perform uh, junk files clean up clean up already so uh, moving to the fifth and last tip for this video it is a very useful one uh, and not well everybody knows about it so if you'll open the battery category of settings and switch on the wireless rev reverse charging toggle you'll be able to use your well Huawei smartphone as the dock station so I'll show it to you using the uh, my well personal iPhone as an example as my <laughs> test subject should I say since uh, I know that it supports the wireless charging so uh, once you have switched on the toggle that I've just shown uh, just place any uh, device that supports the wireless charging technology on top uh, of your Huawei uh, at the like back panel like so and as you can see the charging process starts right away and just like so, you can share the power you have on your Huawei wirelessly with some, well, other smartphones, for example, or uh, which is more convenient, I think, and more suiting as yes, to share the power with uh, the accessories uh, such as smart watches, uh, wireless earbuds, and well, some other, any other, basically accessory device, whatever, at this point, uh, which supports the wireless charging already. So that will be not only for the fifth tip slash option slash feature uh, that we wanted to show you today but for this video in general so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your attention if you have something to say uh, if you uh, want to share your feedback with us do not hesitate to leave a comment below and bye bye